man, people gotta. Oh man, it's like we just had this conversation, you know. You ever have a conversation with somebody and you feel like you just had it with somebody, but in actuality, I was just speaking with y'all? Because I'm like, man, I didn't I just tell somebody about this? And then it was like, no, you ain't talk to me. And I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. I was talking to somebody on YouTube, or I was talking and made a video about it. But we was just talking about. I don't even think it was this subject. I think it was with uh <clears throat> the other poor kid that lost his life. You know, um, Vaughn. I think it was that situation. But now there's reports that a woman set up uh, MO3. Well, Mo3, talking about he got set up. Now, the reports is they saying is that he left the woman's house. They followed him in a car and waited for him to leave the woman's house. And he saw them following him and tried to lose them on the freeway. And that's why he went on the freeway. Now, that's what the streets is talking. And that this girl was the one that set him up. Now, this is what I mean. And now all of it's on social media. Now, she comes out, you know, and denies all of this, all involvement in there. But, but of course, you know, what would she do? What was she supposed to do in there? But... Is there a chance that she didn't have anything to do with it? And they probably was just following him anyway? That was always a possibility. But the internet, y'all got to be careful. Like I always said, I said it then, I'm saying it now. Y'all are reckless. Y'all don't understand. Y'all doing what academics was doing. You know, y'all being reckless. Y'all going around putting people's lives in danger. Now, this poor woman, you know, what if she's innocent? Have anybody ever thought about that? What if she didn't set him up? Y'all throwing it out there. Yellow Breezy Man paid her some money, paid her a guap. So that she could set up MO3. People who from doggone Portland, Oregon, talking about what they didn't did over in Dallas. I'm like, dog, you from Portland, Oregon, probably at a game stop somewhere. Get serious. You don't know nothing about what's going on over there. You just trying to piece it together in your mind of what happened and then you want to throw it out there to the world. You know, me I'm not capping for anybody or man, what are you capping for her? I'm like, I don't even know her. I'm saying in general, until you have some information, y'all shouldn't be as reckless as to throw that out there. Oh, she's the one that did it. She set him up. That's all people telling me today. See, no, man. It was a girl that set up uh, MO3, man. Yeah, man. Bootsy, you know, man. They're going to have to take care of that. I'm like, dude. Bootsy and, and his people. Bootsy got to try to get well and deal with his situation. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they, whatever they going to do, it'll be handled the way it gets handled. You know? The authorities are investigated. You know, they got an investigative unit. Let them investigate if there's a crime. You know, that she was involved in. Let them cops come in, do their job. Let them investigate. You know what I'm saying? The, the investigation ain't going to be conducted by somebody from Tennessee chiming in on his computer. 
or his mobile phone talking about what he think about the case that ain't how, <laughs> that ain't how it gets done bro now unfortunately I know this all too well so if you might be like man why are you so like saying if you know cuz I've seen I, I have knowledge firsthand in this situation you know an individual from our neighborhood decided to take his own life because his girl broke up with him he goes over to the house and it's like I just want to talk to you before and you know and she they talked and everything tried to get her back she wouldn't go and he's like well I ain't got nothing to live for no more then. and there it is she tried to talk him out of it and it wasn't gonna work he said he made his mind up and then he pulled it Pa. he wasn't bluffing she called 911 and they were telling her on the phone how to save his life and he wasn't gone after he did it you know he was still there and she was trying to do CPR and everything she's on the phone She's her whole life is ruined by that. Now, he was a gang member. So naturally, people that's in his gang did not believe he would do something like that. But if we we knew him before he was in a gang. And he he had every indication of a person that would probably do something like that. He was very like soft in the neighborhood. Like people used to beat him up before. He's basically he joined a gang to be tough and not be alone because people was just beating him up in the neighborhood and stuff. So when he was younger, so I remember him from that. Now times have changed now he's rolling with the gang so he's protected now so nobody gonna come up there and try to beat him up anymore but you know that's just a mask he's still gonna be who he is so when you saw that happen and he turned around and Take yourself out in the way he did, you know. They thought she did it. They basically told the whole neighborhood, homegirl did it. So now, what you think that did with her life? You know, she can't even go outside. People already, yeah, she did it. Yeah, we know she did it. But if I didn't know her and her peoples personally and actually see the girl and all that took was a look I already knew she didn't do it that girl was mentally disturbed behind what happened she was messed up but they don't get to see her she was paranoid and Still to this day, she's on medication. She had to move out the neighborhood and go stay with her auntie. Because in fear, you know, they was going to harm her. And she didn't want to be that close to the house anyway. So she ended up moving. They moved her out at night. Can you imagine moving out at like midnight? Two in the morning. They had to straight move him out. Now, here's the situation. You got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because you're putting targets on people's backs. This isn't a video game. This isn't a movie. This is real life. And you got to be careful with how you distribute information. 
especially when people's lives are extinct. And you got people that's no longer here anymore. You know, over nonsense. Because at the end of the day, what you did wasn't going to make you rich. It wasn't going to improve your life. Nothing. So, what, what good came out of it? Absolutely nothing. So it's just a, another sad, tragic situation that we got to hang our heads on that they're going to use to hold up over our heads for any black man or black woman who try to succeed in life. They're going to be on that. And that's all they know, man. They just keep killing each other and shooting each other. Why they do that? Where's Black Lives Matter? Because... I'm glad they're coming to get the leaves out. They wait soon till I make a video to do this stuff. Now, when people come by and say, hey, I need you to do such and such. Oh, hey, I need you to do that. Or, hey, I need you to do this and that. Man, look, nobody got time for, for nonsense. You know what I'm saying? It's like either you either you understand the process or what's going on or you don't. You know, I mean, to me, it's a human thing. You ain't even got to be in the streets. It's a, it's a human factor involved. You just don't involve people names and start throwing them around. And, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, yeah, it's shock value and it's going to get you a lot of attention. But I've seen a lot of reckless social media videos based on this same subject. And they basically convicted the woman. And y'all don't even know. Y'all y'all putting her life in danger. Without even knowing the facts. So. That's why I'm glad I have my platform here. Where I could just speak to y'all directly. You know, that's what I'm saying. The people that listen to me is going to be well educated on the situation. They just not going to be going around recklessly saying stuff. Because so far all they know is that he left her house and got in the car. That's it. But we so quick to look at sabotage and set up because we've seen so many movies and stuff and seen women actually do that and Oh man, all women in, you can't trust these hoes. No. <laughs> so, right away, it's just all the stigma. She, the Bible is the Bible is nothing but betrayal. Women betrayal, Delilah, all of them. A woman called for the head of John the Baptist. It's all in the Bible. Women, 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 women. Cleopatra, she destroyed Egypt, you know. Look, it's, it's the whole book. It's all about a woman's mistakes made from Eve. Started, Eve kicked it off and it just started rolling down with Eve. So, that's what it is. For everybody out there, don't forget you can subscribe to the page, Carcino for Life, by clicking the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to make sure you get the notifications. Um, YouTube have the notifications seem to be working better now. I you know, so hopefully this one is going out. You know, with this I can't get too happy. Next thing you know, we'll be right back in the same boat next week. So <laughs> we just hope everything is clear and ready to go right now. Um, my cash app is Carcino. If you want to support the page, K A R C E N O. For those who know. And like I said before, you like what you heard, man, hit the like button. You ain't got to be a stranger to that. And for everybody on the Patreon, we're going to do a live stream today from the Carcino for Life Patreon. That way y'all can ask me some questions and we can go into some stuff you probably didn't know about. We can go, you know, deeper into the subjects. So, I'm out. Thank you. God bless you.